my name is Cormac McCoggan and today we're going to learn two jigs. First one is Lee Scalis and the second one is Paddy Bice. So the first one, Lee Scalis, I learned it from the Bunch of Keys CD and the second one, Paddy Bice, I learned it from my music teacher and Bob Cranna. So I'll play Lee Scalis here first and then we'll break it down after. <laughs> of what it will sound like. So we'll start with the first line and the first two bars on the C sharp. So I'll play first and then you can play it along the way then after. So that's the first two bars. Play it with me now. One, two. Again, one, two. And we'll go to the bar three and bar four now, the first thing. And if I'm moving too fast, you can, you can pause the video so you can, you don't have to play along at the same pace. You can pause the video if you just need. Right, so bar three and bar four now in the first line. I'll play them first and then you just can play them off me then. Two lines together, or two bars, sorry. We'll play the whole first line here now, then. Sorry, I meant to say. It. One, two. If you are wondering what that funny note is, it is the sharp above C sharp. So it is on the chord in here to be that one there. So it is. It's a very. It's not one you'd use quite often, so it isn't. It's not one I would use very often, but it's in this tune anyway, so we'll play that again now. So we're all, first line, one. Two. Um, one more time. One, two. Second line, we'll start. We'll start up now. I'll play it first, and then you can play it with me after. The first bit is just the first two bars is just the same as the 
first lines, first two bars, other than the high notes. So we just can play it off me now this time. One, two. <laughs> finish it is you can see there there's a wee square with number one and a wee square with number two the one that has the number one is what you play the first time and the square and that's under number two is what you play the second time when you're running it into the second part so i'll finish it with we'll play one here first so i'll play it first and you can play it with me square two it's what we play when we're running into the second part i'll play first and then you can play it with me two lines now so we will twice the first time we're playing it with we're finishing with what's under the square number one and the second time we're playing it we're finishing with what's under square number two which means then you run it into the second part so uh, we'll play it here now together and see how we get on <laughs> second part then from that B there so third line now we're going to play the first two bars starting on the C sharp I'll play it the first two bars and then you can play it with me after sounds like you can do it if you want I don't really mind it's up to you really so I'll play it with the cuts here but that's what it sounds like with the cuts so we've got a bar three and four here now on the third line starting in the D Time one, two. 
too. Now we'll go to the last line. Same flies for the last line, so it does as the last line in the first part. The wee squares with the one and the two. The one the bar that's under one is what you play the first time you finish it and the bar is that's under number two there that is what you play the second time you're playing it when you're coming back into the first part because we play first part we play both parts twice first part twice second part twice so we'll take the first two lines here now or the first two bars sorry and the last line which is just the same as the first two bars and line three there so I'll play it and then you can play it off me. personal choice for us but and again one two now for bar three we'll play bar three and which is under the and under the we square with the number one under it there so we'll play them two together now is what you would finish on playing it the first time round so I'll play it first and then you can play it off me Finishing that B is what you would run into the C again for the second part. But we'll do it again here now. One, two. And again. One, two. And now we'll play the we'll play it we'll play bar three now with What's is under the we square with the number two, which is what we finish on when we're playing it the second time around. So I'll play it first and then you can play it along with me. second part now here is one starting on line three and we'll play it twice so we're using both both endings and both finishings there so we can I'll play it first here and then you can play it along with me or yeah sounds like so we'll try that now so we will so one two
the first part then again. So I think we're able to maybe run through the whole tune here now. We'll play it. We'll play it. We'll play it once the whole way through, a wee bit slower. So we will, and then we can try it a wee bit quicker the second time. See how we get on. So here we go now, starting the whole way through it. Start on the C. a wee bit faster maybe this time now so starting again once the whole way through first part twice second part twice like to finish on there in the last line which is just it's pretty much an A and a E below it like an nice chord and just hold it for two beats really sort of so I'll play it again here just so you can hear it Gallies, Jigs, so it was. I think we have it fairly well covered there now, and we can go on to Paddy Fahey's. So, Paddy Fahey's is much different, it's on the key of C. So, on the key of C, there's no sharps at all. And, well, on the piano chord, in the sharps is the black notes, so there's no black notes at all in Paddy Fahey's, other than in the second part. But I don't usually play them, but we'll get to that when it comes to it. So, I'll I'll give Paddy Fahey's a quick wee run through here again so you can hear what it's like. And we'll break it down then after sure. Quick run of what Paddy Fahey sounds like again. So, 
we'll do the first line here now in the first two bars. This jig is it's probably a little bit easier than the first one we learned there, so you'll be glad to hear that. But so we'll play the first two bars here now, and you can play them with me after. for the first line. First line now, so all four bars together. So we'll go one, two. Second line now, and do the first two bars. So I'll play them, and you can hear them. Play them with me after them. So the first two bars in line two is the same as the first two bars in the first line. Actually, so it is. So makes the learning a wee bit easier. So it does. So we'll play them again here now. One, two. second line so start them now there now I'll play them and you just can play them with me after Second line there now, starting on the C. So one, two. So that them C's there, the repeated C's, I like to cut the few of them there sometimes. Obviously, you can cut most of them, but I just like to cut the last one. That's a personal choice. It's not as repetitive, kind of a sound it, and when you cut one of them at least. So we'll do that now. So one, two. And again, one, two. 
two. together here now is the whole of one so that's line one and line two there and the score so starting on the C remember all the C's are C natural so it would be the white on the piano card and there's no black keys being used at all so starting on C first part now again so well It's kind of like a wee, like a chord, but it's the notes are broken up, so I would run from a... So it's pretty much just a... After the last C, it's an E and a G. So it's just E, G. I'll just play it for you here so you know what it sounds like. You just can use it if you want. second part here now remember the first part is played twice and the second part is played twice in this jig as well so it is so the second part has sharps in it it has an F sharp in it but what I like to do I change it a wee bit so there isn't any sharps I change it to a roll but for now we'll learn it we'll learn it the way it is in the score and I'll play the way I usually do it then after so so starting with the first two bars the second part now so it's on line three there so I'll play it and you can play it with me after them so the F's there are all F sharp so there so the F sharp is the black notes and the accordion so one two Yeah. 
turn it again. Sorry. Sorry about the mistakes there. We'll try it again. One, two. Right, so bar three and bar four now in the third line. Starting on the F, I'll play it and then you just can play it with me after. C. I'll play first and then you can play it with me then. So. line now so it's starting on the C there I think the first two bars in the last line is the same as the first two bars on the third line there in the score so we'll just still play them so we'll that wrong the first time there sorry they're not the same sorry you know that so start again the first two bars here now on the last line well make mistakes don't we <laughs> right so one two two bars now I'll play them and we can play them with me after so quite a nice wee finish in that tune so does I I like it so so try it again here now one two line there now all together is one all four bars so start and see now I'll play it and then we can play it slower after again then. that's what it sounds like so starting on the C 
last last line. One, two. It's alright. Start it again. And my mistake. It's alright. So we'll try this again. One, two. Line again. One, two. And again. One, two. Sorry, my mistake again. Jeez. Mustn't have had the right breakfast today, Tal. Try this again, last line, starting on the C. One, two. on there when the tune is over it's just a C and a G the G that's above it makes like a nice chord so it does it sounds you can do it with a lot of different keys we can but I like to use C and a G in this here you can use the G below it or above it but I like to use the one above it so I'll play it again just so you can hear it that I think we're able to play the whole the second part there now so we are um, we'll play part twice so we'll play it twice through one two again so well maybe a wee bit quicker one two tune here now as one if we can patty fies and we'll see how we get on so starting at the very top to bottom now first try twice second part twice one two
all chin. So maybe we'll play it a wee bit quicker this time. So we will. We'll try it again and see where it goes. Just a wee bit quicker, not not crazy fast. So we'll play but and again. One, two. the two tunes basically learned so does there now. I tend to play these two tunes together so I do Lisa Kelly's and Paddy Fahey's with Lisa Kelly's first so I think maybe we should play the two of them together just to get the, the run of it so you know what it sounds like. We'll, ju we'll just play we'll play both of them once just so you just hear what it sounds like. So. Because I usually do play them together. So, we, so starting with Alicia Kelly's first part twice, second part twice, and then we'll run on the Paddy's Fahey's with first part twice, second part twice, and that as well. <laughs> and we'll do it at jig speed now since we know them, and I'll play the basses as well with it. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks as all for listening, whoever was listening, and good luck with the tunes. <laughs>